Some other tough measures are already starting to lift around the country. More provinces are getting set to announce their plans for reopening. Others are about to put their plans into action. We have team coverage of that for you this morning. Brett Ruskin from Halifax is going to bring us the Atlantic picture in just a moment. But we are going to begin with Laura McQuillan and the province that was once Canada's hotspot. Laura, it was January the 9th that Quebec brought in a curfew supposedly for 28 days. And here we are, 139 days later. What happens today? Yeah, it's been a long time, Heather, but now residents of Quebec can stay out after 9.30 p.m. It's a big change. They got used to that curfew living, but now they can also have people over to their homes, which is the first time in a long time. I believe it was last year at some point when the hotspots inside Quebec stopped people uh, having people over. So they can have up to eight people at a private gathering as of now. And in fact, if they have a large enough venue, we're talking about an auditorium, up to 2,500 people inside. A huge number from where we were just a few weeks ago. Big change today as well. Uh, you can stay out late, you can get together with people, you can also go to a patio or a terrace. Only restaurant ones though at this point. Bars won't open their outdoor patios for another couple of weeks. Some strict rules remain. You have to stay with your own household if you are on one of those terraces or you can have two adults from different households, but that's the limit. But even with those tight limits, we are hearing restaurant owners very excited as they put the finishing touches on their reopening plans. We uh, don't know quite how this is going to go. Uh, we may be a little rusty. Right now, it's a bit of a panic. It's a bit of a frenzy. Everybody's looking for staff. Everybody's looking to get their deliveries in. The big hope is that everybody takes this as a stride to be able to go back to normal, but not rush into it so that we don't go backwards during the summer. We don't want to have to do all of this to shut down again. And speaking of shutdown, something that will remain in place for now, Heather, the closure of the Ontario-Quebec border. No date set for that to reopen at this point. Let's look at Saskatchewan too, Laura, because that province really, in many ways, was the template for the, the roadmap. You know, if this threshold of vaccination was met, then parts of the province would reopen. And that goes into effect this weekend. What's first? That's right. And they hit that vaccination threshold about three weeks ago. So as of Sunday, they will be opening indoor dining, indoor uh, group fitness classes, as long as people can stay three metres apart. So really leaping ahead on what's going on there. Indoor dining seems like such a distant memory for so much of the country. Gathering sizes are also increasing, so people can have 10 people at a private gathering, whether indoors or outdoors, 30 people at a wedding, up to 150 people at a public event outdoors. Uh, you look at Saskatchewan now, you can already go get a haircut, you can already shop at non-essential retail, so they are a bit ahead of most other provinces in that regard, certainly pretty far ahead of their neighbours, Alberta and Manitoba, still struggling with their case numbers and a little while off reopening at this point, Heather. Laura, thank you very much.